Yo, 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 yo. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hi Moi, it's 10th year this year. Quite a bit of time ago, yeah, um, I put a video up yeah, showing my studio, how it's upgraded and since. And I put it for revenue sharing and for some reason it didn't meet the criteria, I'm not sure. So I deleted it. Oh, so, sorry, they deleted it. For, and that yeah so I don't really know why but I feel I was treated wrong there but now do you know what I decided to do I've just decided to um, since there's a little since there's a tiny bit of upgrade now I was planning to do this again later on when I've upgraded it a little bit more but um, ah, I'll leave it I'll, I'll just do it I'll just do another upgrade now so um, and this time I won't put it for revenue sharing and it won't, it won't get deleted this time so let's start off with um, the studio foam, the soundproof foam okay as you can see I've still um, got it just around here yeah not really much on, on the wall <laughs> yeah but um, and I've got a little bit over here at the side over there Okay, so and everyone knows the big, the big massive table, the big massive studio desk, and that I puts everything yeah exactly in the deep way I want it, make it easier to make music. So let me introduce the stuff that's that's on here, and that come close up. <laughs> Uh, make up your mind. Yeah, that's what I meant. Close up, as in like you come close. That's what I meant. Now, anyway, everyone knows this. This is was before the Commodore 64. It's now the Temp Futron. Thanks to William Gooden here yeah, for um, the lovely modding, made a much better sound and everything. Like that got my Alice's Photon X25 here. I usually used to have the two big keyboards, but I found out that. This can basically generate the sounds from there when you use when you use sampling and stuff. So I thought might as well. And uh, here's the Hercules DJ console. It's like a virtual Dex. You know, instead of um, scr scratching with vinyls, you do uh, you mix um, MP3s, WAV files, and even CDs. You know, the CDs on your ROM that is. And then. Um, it is the big mixer and it puts everything together puts everything together you know everything's plugged into its channel bring it stuff there and what do I have here I have the PS2 right there people are wondering what happens the PS2 is part of the studio and not the PS3 well the PS3 is for gaming and my gaming area is all over here and that's there's my PS3 it's right there fucking dusty as hell boy I've got to dust it now, anyway um, and also the PS2 also still has an optical um, s a slot so it still comes out with digital quality so I can I use um, Music 3000 M2 Generator 2 over there and DVD region <laughs> <laughs> that's for watching my head when I put it on the music studio that's another reason why we use the PS2 don't we yeah now here's my um, phaser Big phaser here yeah, to bring off some nice cool sound. And look, there's Chris Redfield at the top. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get to that. Uh. And um, here's the TC Helicon um, Voice Prism Plus. This was probably the most expensive thing hit right here, boy. It took me basically two years to save up. And I do mean two years to save up, boy. But it's I, worth it, though. I actually lost weight. I didn't go. To, I didn't get much pizzas or chicken and chips for those for long. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Uh. And um, got love the speakers. Speakers from M Audio. These are the BX5As. Pair, double pair, boy. And where did you get these from? Digital Village. Most of my things from Digital Village. If you're interested in becoming a musician and you live in the UK, Digital Village is your shop, mate. Or, Trust you, me. or if you need good quality speakers for your PC, it's the best place to go. Yeah. And um, so. when I when I actually get money and I'm not broke, I'm gonna buy some speakers from there. <laughs> That's the other one. Hey, look at this, man. This is the Aprosband 64. It's for the um, Commodore 64, so it allows me to use four synthesizers at the same time. For some reason, it mashed up. Maybe it's the fuse I have to change, but it is a very rare thing. And so far, I'm, I'm in the sense of um, putting four different you actually, synthesizers you, you, at the You know, time. I saw one on eBay for about 200 quid. That don't, that don't surprise me. It's a very rare thing. My one was nearly 100. What, you got it from eBay? Yep. It's the only place you can get it now. And what year was that on? Gosh, that was, that was about a, a year or two ago. Hmm. It, it really was a helpful thing though, so hopefully I can get it fixed. And what else do I have here? Of course, for the PS2, I had to use um, a wireless control pad. And Yushia Jason gave me this, so thanks very much to him. And um, here's the Game Boy Color. Now, everyone knows the big main melody in Scarnex. Couldn't have done that without this. And what game do you use for that? Do you want to show them? Oh yeah. How can I forget? Pocket Music from Jester Interactive. Big up Jester Interactive. Big up Cold Storage while we're at it. And that. And let's move to the top. Since this is the AC Box Studios, I decided to get this wireframe AC Box here. <laughs> nice. Here's, here's a lamp. There's no point in me turning it on now because it really would do nothing while the lights are on. <laughs> you know, it's when it's dark it really works its best. It would probably light up everything while you're on the studio, and that. So that's all cool. And you know, a few memory cards here. All these memory cards have songs on them. Fair. Mm. What all, all of them, boy? So, so I use this little souvenir here from my cousin, which mm. I got from Saint Lucia. Magic mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, little Christmas card. Mm. Little Christmas card for my brother, his his girl and my niece. And um, there's the big there's the big lights there. Yeah, from um, Shadow Lost Arts. That's a that's what I usually turn on when I'm doing a video because when I usually film with a camera, the camera is actually up here, filming out to me this way as you usually see. You know. So that is actually the stuff um, I use to make music, although currently right now I'm working on my um, music video. But when I'm working on music, these are the stuff I'm using. Oh yeah, people are probably wondering, where's the keyboard and mouse? Right there. <laughs> That's one handy thing I think most computer desks could have, a fold out. I know. I wish this one came out more though. I mean, this is the furthest. It, this is the furthest. It could probably go out further. No, it can't. I actually found out it can't. I thought I thought there was a screw in the way or not, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, because I've got buttons all the way up here as well. Was that doing music and stuff? Well, well, you know, my monitor, my desk as well. I don't have that thing. I just have the thing. At the but then again, I I have one side with my art studio and one side with just my computer. I use so yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the monitors. Just to let you know that this is actually a TV slash monitor. So I can actually switch it to um, the Commodore, or should I say the Tempitron, <laughs> or, or um, the um, PlayStation 2. You know, it's not, that's, why, that's why you just switch channels nice and easy. And the other one. And the other one's just a free, just a free monitor that came with a PC. Are you going to try and get another monitor? Um, don't you know yet? Nah, I don't know. It, it depends really on your how far your music progresses, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, I know. What? Well, because what I do, what I should be doing is buying more studio foam and cover up this whole room. So when I make music at night, I'm not waking up my mum. Hmm. That's it. Okay. And what do we have here? Most people use headphones, studios, and every every headphones people usually get 
you must get hold it a second hold you it got, a second <laughs> you gotta get yeah the Sennheiser always get a Sennheiser um, headphones this is a shit Sennheiser one but there's millions out there man and, really good and ones. just for the subscribers how much was that pair uh, this was about £20 you can get some lovely fantastic um, headphones yeah for 1000 they really keep the sound in proper boy hmm. and that these ones are good though, very comfy, except for the fact that I wear glasses, so I kind of have to pull these out and then put them up here, so I look ugly now. Although I probably look ugly in the first place. Why don't you just still... wear contacts? <laughs> fuck, oh, fuck contacts, really. I've seen, the, I've seen the pain people go through putting these in, boy. Yeah. And, what else do we have? Well, you can't sing Pulse Rhythmic Current, yeah, without a mic. So that's how I did it, I used that, and I used the Voice Prism Plus as well. Now this mic stand, yeah, it's not very good at leaning over big gaps, so I've got to have a cushion <laughs> to hold it up. <laughs> and trust me, that, that thing's fell on a lot of us many times. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has, boy. So this is so this is where I sing. This mic, it's good mic from Shure. Also, once once there as well, if you want to get a good mic here, yeah, make sure it's a Shure mic. And, and where did you buy it from? Digital Village. <laughs> I bought this, this, <laughs> these, that, that. I know this one. This reminds me of the all, subscribers and all these from Digital Village. You know what? I must. I'm actually going to post yeah a web uh, link. Yeah, to Digital Village. Yeah, you got to check out Digital Village, man. Mm. I've always gone to Digital. But wait, wait, even when you buy decent pair of computer monitors, just get them from there. The, the best place I reckon. I don't know if they do PC monitors though. I think no, they no, got uh, you know, look at these. Look at those over there. You can you can attach those and reconfigure them. Mhm. Mm no, you, you just need a wired transfer connector. That's all you need. Alright. You're not for the back of a PC, you just yeah. get that, that wire box. Yeah. The most, like the stickers I want to get, they're like a hundred quid. Hey, some people may also not know yet that I actually do have two PCs here. <laughs> Go on, show them underneath. <laughs> uh, okay. Two, two PCs. The one on the left is for music, internet, and stuff. And the other one is used for graphics, designing, animation. And trust me, me and a website. Me being an animator and artist. I mean, I mean, how big is my hard drive at home? Fucking massive. I've got I've got one 500 gigabyte hard drive just for doing my artwork alone, and one 300 gigabyte artwork just just for my main hard drive. Mm-hmm. And that's not including my laptop I use for my for my Mac work as well. Okay. Um, oh, that's, it, that's it I've got to show you guys, yeah? So, now people have seen the up-to-date video on the studio. Because in the last one, yeah, I didn't show you the Tempfutron. It's the Tempfutron. It was the Commodore back then, but now it's the Tempfutron. So now people got a nice good inside of it. So, um, that, that's what I've got to, and that, that's what I've got to say, guys. So, thanks very much. It's Shadow Lost Arts holding the camera. You're welcome. And thanks everyone. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you all guys later. Love who you are.